Hello guys, Grumpy. Welcome back to another Feed the Beast tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the semi-fluid generator as part of the Greg's Tech Mod. Uh, it works similar to the gas turbine. Basically the difference is, is uh, it just takes different kind of fuel. So it's got an in, input slot and an output slot just like the gas turbine. Uh, as soon as you put a cell in here it gets converted into liquid. It produces 1,000 units of liquid. This one has biomass in it. This one right here has creosote. And this one right here has sodium. So that's your three types of fuel you can use in this. So think of it just like a gas turbine, uh, except it takes different fuel. Now, by the way, these things right here, I put eight EU per tick, uh, which is the same output as a, like an advanced solar panel. But these are much, much easier to build. Let me show you the recipe. Um, it takes five refined iron, uh, reinforced glass, a generator, and two pieces of, uh, or two electronic circuits. Now you might be asking if this thing has this only has an output of eight, why would you take this over the generator? Well, the generator won't burn all these things. So, creosote oil. I'm not going to cover sodium. Sodium, I believe, is made with either industrial center, industrial centrifuge, or the industrial industrial electrolyzer. Um, biomass. I, I believe that's made with the forestry mod. I don't mess with forestry that much. So, um, if you do get biomass, you can put it put it uh, inside here and turn it into electricity. But by the way, this thing will accept cans or bottles or cells, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it's biomass, creosote, or sodium. Now, uh, I was going to mention this. Um, normally, you used to probably use cells. Well, let's look at the recipe for cells. This has been nerfed with Greg's Tech. It takes four pieces of tin that produces eight cells. So here's what I'd recommend instead. Make cans. Um, because cans only take three pieces of tin and they produce 12. Um, so instead of spinning four to get eight, you're spinning three to get 12. So this is a much better recipe, uh, these cans are, at least if you're going to use them for this machine. I'm not sure what cans work with and what they don't. I know they work with this, so that's all I can tell you. Um, probably work with other stuff too. I just don't, I'm not familiar with it. So anyway, um, the reason I like that creosote recipe because I like to take all my coal and turn it into the cold coke, especially early on in the game. Uh, I don't like I don't like lava because it's a pain in the butt. I like uh, I like solar panels, but um, because solar panels so hard, I'm looking for alternative uh, alternative ways to get electricity. And so I like this this coal because coal you just get that by quarrying it or mining it, so it's not hard to get at all. You don't have to go to the Nether and get lava and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Um, you put coal in inside of a coke oven and it will give you cold coke. Now, this takes no electricity or anything like that to run. So basically what you're doing is you're taking your coal and turning it into cold coke. And the reason you do that, because if you look right here, it says can produce 4,000 EU. So that's how much electricity you'll get off coal. If you look over here, cold coke produces 16,000. So basically what this coke oven's doing is quadrupling the output of electricity from your coal. But one of the byproducts of the coke oven is creosote oil. So this is a tank. It'll fill up, and you just drop a can in here, and there you go. It filled it up. And so I believe, could be wrong, I believe it takes, um, yeah, it takes 1,000 units of, uh, of this creosote oil to fill up a cell. Cell, can, or whatever, buckets. You can put anything you want here. Put it up here, and it'll show up right here. But anyway... Let me show you how to make this real quick. It's not hard at all. It's just a three by three cube. You make it out of, what is it? It's Coke oven bricks. Now let me show you the recipe for these. Uh, just take sand and bricks. Bricks, bricks are made out of uh, uh, clay. You just cook clay inside, just melt clay and you'll end up with bricks. Um, clay is not hard to find at all. You'll find it in an ocean bottom or a riverbed. But anyway, once you get these bricks, you'll just, I won't build the whole cube. I'll show you the gist of it, though. I'll build the bottom floor. And so you'll want uh, two more floors like that, but you'll want to leave the middle floor hollow. So it's going to be a hollow cube. As soon as you place that last block, you'll get these little windows right here. And then at that point, you have a Coke oven. So I highly recommend building these early on in the game because it's a real easy way to get power. Just build you... The cold coke, uh, just run it inside of regular generators. But that creosote, that byproduct, um, you want to build one or two or three of these uh, 
semi-fluid generators. Not hard to build, but it's going to help you get a lot more power out of your system. So anyway, stick it in here. As you can see right here, I'm just using bottles in this one. I'm using cans in this one. I'm using cells in this one. So the container doesn't matter. It'll take take all kinds of containers. But anyway, I uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps my channel. Uh, also, too, it lets me know to make more videos of this type. One video gets 100 likes, another one gets 10 likes. I'm going to uh, do the video gets 100 likes. Um, so, anyways, Grumpy, I appreciate all you guys watching. My channel has been growing like crazy ever since I started doing this Feed the Beast tutorials. And as long as it's growing and I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of likes, I'll keep making these videos. So, anyway, we'll see you next time.